Hi everybody, this video shows how I fixed the PO446 code on my 2000 Toyota Tacoma in October of 2015. The code showed up March 2015. I didn't shoot any live video because I didn't know until the end that my fix was successful. I wish this video by Fixit Angel had existed last year. My repair was nearly identical, except I don't have a smoke machine and I didn't use Toyota sealant. P0446 means Evaporative Emission Control System Vent Control Malfunction. This points to the charcoal canister. The new canister is currently $244.95 on Amazon.com, so I was hoping for a cheap and easy fix. You might be able to get just the valves for about $50 each, but they aren't necessarily the problem. Here's a look at my Tacoma's charcoal canister. Here it is with notations on the hoses. Here's another view, and here's another view with notations. The charcoal canister collects gasoline fumes and lets them into the engine to be burnt at another time. Your engine computer takes a pressure reading on the charcoal canister, and if it doesn't get the readings it expects, you get a check engine light. Per Toyota's service manual, possible causes of P0446 are vacuum hose cracked, hold blocked, damaged, or disconnected, Opener short in vapor pressure sensor circuit, vapor pressure sensor, opener short in VSV circuit for EVAP, VSV for EVAP, open or short in VSV circuit for vapor pressure sensor, VSV for vapor pressure sensor, charcoal canister cracked, hole, or damaged, and lastly, ECM. One test involves hooking up a hand vacuum pump and watching the gauge but I didn't want to buy one of those for a most likely one-time use. I checked my valves by blowing in them while connecting and disconnecting a 9-volt battery. They clicked and let air pass when energized, so that told me the valves were fine. I let about seven months go by until my license plate renewal said emissions test required, and I thought, oh crap, I better get this fixed. I watched a few more YouTube videos about P0446 and decided to decided to try the apply pressure section of my service manual. I turned the pressure way way down on my compressor's regulator, capped the three ports shown, hooked up a rubber hose, and blew air into the tank side inlet. You're probably better off just using air from your lungs to make sure you don't pop the canister. Air came out the drain line, so that told me the entire unit wasn't plugged. Then I applied soapy water while pressurizing the canister, I probably capped or held my finger over the drain line while doing this. That's when the bubbles appeared. In my case, the round cap on the battery side was leaking. In Fix-It Angel's video, you'll see his leak was around the bottom seam. I cleaned off the top of the canister, applied 5-minute epoxy around both circles, cleared the P0446 code, passed the emissions test, and P0446 has not come back. The repair was done October 7th, 2015 at 256,900 miles. This narration is being recorded January 31st at 258,735 miles. So about 2,000 miles and three months later, everything's fine. So best of luck with your P0446 solution.